All new at noon, South Florida leaders are reacting today to the news. The Trump administration is ending the temporary protected status program for tens of thousands of Haitians. It was established after the country's 20 turn earthquake. CBS 4's Maribel Rodriguez is live at the Miami Dade School Board with more. Maribel is affecting a lot of people. It sure is, Elliot, and this is a decision, I have to tell you, that has not been taken lightly. Today, outside the school board building, Superintendent Carvalho, along with other politicians, stood out here. They're standing up for all those who are being affected. Meantime, some who are being affected directly here in South Florida are now in Palm Beach. They want to send a message directly to the president, who is expected to arrive tonight. We lost all of us over there. We came here. We start a new life. Menas Joseph is one of nearly 60,000 Haitians living in the United States under temporary protected status. We live here, we work here, we have family here, our life is here. But on Monday, their American dream was shattered when the Trump administration announced it is ending TPS for Haitians come July 2019. What would happen to you and your family if you have to go back to Haiti? What would be of your life? No more life for us. Joseph is joining hundreds of protesters across Florida that will be rallying for immigrants in Palm Beach. Tuesday morning, dozens met in Miami Gardens and boarded buses to Mar-a-Lago, where President Trump will be spending the Thanksgiving holiday. And we're going to fight tooth and nail to get uh, the, pre the, the president to do the right thing for these people. Also standing up for the thousands of immigrants under TPS and their children are Superintendent Alberto Carvalho, along with Congresswoman Frederica Wilson, Congressman Carlos Corbello, and other school board members, sending a message all the way to Washington. Over my dead body shall anybody remove any child from the sanctity of our classrooms, from the sanctuaries that schools represent in our community. This announcement will just give us more fight power because we are not going to take this standing down. We will continue to advocate. We have legislation in the harbor ready to file now. And that bill the congresswoman mentioned is the Esperer bill. It, it will be a permanent legislative fix offering protected Haitians permanent residency. We're live in downtown Miami. Maribel Rodriguez, CBS 4 News.